All right, happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Brett Thompson with Thompson Law Group World Headquarters. It's Tuesday, so we're going to do another Teaching Tuesday. Also, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I'm rocking my new Happy New Year mustache, which my wife said that I, I will have to immediately shave off tonight because she hates it. Um, in any event, hey, I got some calls from some local realtors in Hampton Roads here in Virginia. And um, part of the, the consumer disclosure information form, it's been enhanced and it actually starts to talk about the difference between a standard and an enhanced um, title insurance policy. And so I've gotten some questions in regards to what is the difference between a standard and enhanced policy. So I'm going to go over kind of like a, a broad brush, if you will, in generalities between the difference of a standard policy and um, an enhanced policy. And um, basically, ALTA, which is the American Land Title Association, they come out with their, um, I guess, standards nationwide for the different types of coverages. And then the different title insurers um, across the nation um, implement and incorporate those standards into their different policies. So um, I, there's a separate um, video on our YouTube channel that goes into detail in regards to what title insurance is. So if you don't know what title insurance is and why you need it, please refer to our other video on our YouTube channel for Thompson Law Group. But today, let's go ahead and just kind of, I'm going to give you an overview of some differences between a standard policy and um, an enhanced policy. Now the enhanced policy is going to be about a 20% premium. So you're going to be paying about 20% more for um, the enhanced policy, but that's going to be your, your Cadillac, you know, with all the buzzes and wh whistles policy. So just want to highlight a few, not all of the difference between the, between the standard policy and the um, enhanced policy. So on the standard policy, the standard policy is going to, going to ensure um, uh, legal access to the property, basically saying that, hey, there is a recorded plat showing a right of way to your property. Um, but the enhanced coverage goes a step further and says that, yes, you have a legal access to the property, but if someone else comes along, if some knucklehead comes along and like, puts a fence up or blocks your access in some way, that would actually be covered in the enhanced policy as opposed to the standard policy. Um, also, uh, forgery after the date of the policy. So you see a lot of commercials now about title lock and whatnot, and they're trying to scare people that somebody out there can steal your ownership interest in the property. Well, if you purchase an enhanced um, ALTA policy, an enhanced owner's policy, that actually covers any kind of forgery after you have acquired your interest in the property. So if somebody, if some criminal out there tried to forge your name and record a deed showing that you conveyed it out to someone else and you had no idea that that would have happened, that's actually covered in your policy. So you don't need to take that extra step and get your title lock or some other kind of um, insurance coverage. It's part of the enhanced policy. Um, some, o some other distinguishing factors. Um, Restrictive covenants. So, um, a developer, a builder, a neighborhood. When a neighborhood's built, they can put in various restrictive covenants and that that are recorded in the land records. So, um, the standard policy isn't going to um, cover a lot of the restrictive covenants as opposed to the enhanced policy. So, if you're forced to remove um, uh, your home due to a violation of, a, of an existing restrictive covenant. Um, or you lose your ownership interest uh, because of a restrictive covenant. So, you know, some restrictive covenants are you can never drink alcohol on the premises. You know, I mean, if you go back to the 1700s and the 1800s, they were very kind of archaic restrictive covenants, which some are still enforceable today. So if you had an enhanced policy of, of insurance and there was some kind of ridiculous restrictive covenant in the land record that's saying that, hey, you would have to um, forego your ownership interest in the property if you drank alcohol on the property, that would be covered in your policy. Um, and that's not covered in a standard policy, apparently. Um, zoning violations. So a standard policy doesn't um, address or cover any type of zoning violations. But if you have to um, tear down your home that you're living in um, or move a part of your home because it's in, kind of, it's in violation of some zoning regulations or setback and whatnot with the city or the you know, the governing authorities, that's, um, that's actually covered in an enhanced policy whereby it would not be covered in a standard policy. Um, also various kind of encroachments. If your home is encroaching on 
um, an easement, a utility easement, or someone else's right to access the property, and you would suffer a loss, like you would have to tear your house down because it's, you know, your house is on top of a, some kind of a utility easement, that would be covered in, a, in an enhanced policy, and it would not be covered in a standard policy. Um, perhaps one of the most attractive features of an enhanced policy is that coverage actually um, appreciates and increases with the appreciation of the house. And I think there's some limits. I think it's 10% per year and up to 100, 150% appreciation. But if you bought a house today that was worth a half a million dollars and you had a standard policy, your coverage would be $500,000 forever for the rest of your life. And if there was a title defect, you know, 10 years from now and the title claim was a $600,000 claim, well, your coverage would be limited to what you purchased in your standard policy. However, if you had an enhanced policy and the property appreciates over time, up to 10% each year, your coverage act actually increases as well um, along with the enhanced coverage in the policy. So, like I said, that's kind of a broad overview of some differences. I'm, I, all I did is highlight some differences between a standard policy and an enhanced policy. There's a whole lot more nuts and bolts to it. Um, I would certainly refer you to um, the exact terms in your policy and, and you could actually reach out to the actual title insurer um, for the specifics in regards to the coverage. But like I said, this is kind of like coverage in a nutshell, broad based, and I wanted to highlight some differences. So if you're a realtor out there in, in Hampton Roads and you're using the rain contract, um, you can also you know, convey to your buyers uh, the, the differences um, you know, in general between the standard policy and the enhanced policy. Um, if you all would like to receive um, the side-by-side -side comparison chart that I have um, just received from uh, Fidelity National. So Fidelity National, um, we work a lot with their insurers and they're the biggest title insurance company, I believe, in the country. Um, but like I said, their chart is very comparable to all the other national insurance companies. So I'd be happy to share that with the local realtors here in the community. Um, in any event, if you like this and you thought this video brought value, I ask that you go to our YouTube channel, like it, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next Tuesday. Thanks a lot.